Well, hi, I'm Rich, WB5YBZ, and I've had a linear power supply for years, and I went to Hamfest this weekend in Oklahoma City, and they have a Samlex power supply there, a model SEC1235M. And it's a cute, I shouldn't say cute, it's a small one. Uh, you know, you get a backache from the linear power supply that I had before. So let's go on over to the power supply. This is a switch model or switching mode DC power supply, not a linear. But let's go on over there and thanks so much for watching. A lot of times one of the first places I look when it comes to ham radio and a, attachments or accessories, I guess you might say, is eHAM. If you notice, it has a 4.4 rating out of 5, and I thought that was pretty good. Um, the prices on these have come up considerably, I guess probably because of electronic, they can't get the parts or something, but it's come up quite a bit from this price here. What I like about this is it has a three-year warranty, circuit innovation minimizes output voltage, ripple, and RFI, that's radio frequency interference. Now this has a, it comes with a 120 volt uh, factory preset and with a cord and everything, but it also has an internal jumper if you wanted to run 230 volts. The output voltage is 13.8 volts, and it's pretty, pretty level if you see it's a plus or minus 0.1 volt. It also has a continuous amp output of 30 amps, and it has a current limit amps of 35 amps. But all in all, I like the 30, or pardon me, the three-year limited warranty. Also, the minimize the output voltage rip, ripple and the radio frequency interference. Uh, such good characteristics on this. What I like about it is it has the both, both amp meter and volt meter. And it's it's not very heavy. I mean, you can just pick it up with almost your thumb and, and index finger. Uh, the length of it is not very long. It's about 9.8 inches by 9.4. And it's about 2.9 inches thick. It has a lighted switch that when you turn it on. I wish this had come with power poles. They give you this type of sort of flat. And I just uh, soldered my wire to this with a power pole on this thing. And it's easy to put in. You just slide it in, slide in and tighten it down, and that's it. They also gave you a couple of set screws, just in case you lose the set screws in here, and, and they give you the Allen wrench as well. As you can see, the light lights up when you turn it on, and so when I turn on the power on the 7300 on FM I have a hundred watts coming out dummy load and let's just click it on transmit there it's hardly pulling it let's see about 15 amps 13 point almost 13.8 uh, volts and I love to look at the meters. I hate to get a power supply that doesn't have meters, but it appears like it's working very, very good. So far, I have not received, uh, seen any birdies on the 7300 or harmonics or whatever you want to call it on, on 10 meters. One of my friends loaned me uh, a switching power supply, which this is, a few years ago, and I about every 10 or 20 kilohertz I had little lines going on there and I thought well I don't want something like this so this has really made me feel good about the Samlex 
power uh, switching power supply it seems like it's really smooth quiet the fan motor on the bottom is really quiet I don't know if I showed you all that a while ago or not there's a the little fan motor and when it starts up it's very quiet you can hardly even hear it so all in all very lightweight very powerful uh, for any probably modern transceiver and uh, I think you'll like it so with that thanks again for watching 73